Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dirge of Cerberus. I'm Grey Chaos Angel, and last time we managed to uh, defeat Azuril, the, uh, the Cerulean, as he attacked us at the WRO headquarters, and Vincent decided to head off towards the Shinra Manor in Nebelium, but with uh, Reeve mentioning that there are reports of deep ground soldiers nearby, we are taking the sewer system underneath it to uh, sneak our way in, and that is where we currently are at. So let us jump right back into this and uh, kick some ass of some sewer rats. Alright, let's get our items. Red potion heals random. And we're out of our vitals. Um, I'm going to hold on to my limit break just in case I need to heal myself if I don't find an option to, uh, like a shop or anything like that. Because this stupid thing, I didn't know what the hell was attacking me last time and really forced me to use stuff I didn't want to use. Alright, open. Come on. Any surprises? There's a Mako point. Nothing this direction. I look like I could target something, I guess not. Alright. I really wish those points healed you, but I guess they don't. Ah, uh, this way. We're going to have to play this a bit more tactically. Hmm. Trap? Perhaps not. Cool. We're going to buy some potions. Some high potions. Let's see. Uh, we don't need any ethers. Handgun bullets, we're doing all good on that. Um... Let's see, what about red ethers? We have. We don't really need those. Um, what about modifications? What can we do? Increase the firepower. We are going to do that. Alright. Now, where do we go from here? Let's see, we have. We've been through there. Um. We have to climb up something. I don't see any ladders. I don't see where we're supposed to go up. If anything. Unless I missed something totally obvious. No, we're supposed to go that way, but how? Okay, which direction am I facing? It should be like somewhere. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to get. I don't know. Head for the Shinra Manor. Okay. But how? I don't see any sort of option to climb up on anything. It seems kind of odd to place this here and then yet have nothing around it. Hmm. Let's see, any kind of ladders? Maybe we can go up another level. I bet that's it. Come on. Oh, yep, we can go one level up. Should have known. Alright, I'm sure we're going to encounter enemies. Hey, we're breaking our gun by going through there. 
Nothing there. Alright, take me up. Nope, next level. Next level. What side is it going to open from? This side? I sense that we're going to fight enemies. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I don't see anything. Nothing back there. All right. Ah, damn it. What do we do? Hmm. This side next. I really think they should have the auto lock on so you don't have to. I didn't even press that. Damn it, I'm stuck behind something. That's just so cheap. I suppose I could have taken cover, but eh. Vincent doesn't do that. Vincent's a badass. Or at least this game's trying to make him into one. Flashback. I'm quite certain that this, this is what that is. Props. Vincent Valentine reporting for duty. We get to see what Vincent looked like before Hojo touch. fucked with him. No. Huh? Why would they send his? Excuse me. Oh, oh! I apologize. This is the first time I have ever met anyone from the Turks. What? What the hell? Lucrezia Crescent. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Valentine. She's got a weird voice. Definitely doesn't fit her character at all. Reminds me of Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Oh, God. This is the level. Oh. This sucks. I think this is like a stealth mission with Kate Sith. This has got to be the place. <sighs> Okay. Oh god. Can we Oh my god. That's his attacks. We can't trigger anything. We well we don't have any way to heal ourselves. Alright, where are we supposed to go? There. Oh, we are going to uh explore a bit. Let's go this way. Oh my god. He runs so bad. It's so bad. Oh my god. What were they thinking? Seriously. Alright, I think that's where we, in, we have to eventually land up. Damn it, and I can't even... I can jump down. In a very awkward way. 
All right, let's go this way. Ugh. First and foremost, what the hell were designers thinking putting these pipes right in the middle of a walkway? It's so impractical. I can't let anybody find me. Then take them out like you did back at the headquarters. Snake by the deep ground soldiers. Dear God. <sighs> I know we're going to be restarting this level a bunch of times if I get screwed up. Come on, where's the next deep ground soldier? I know there's a box here for a reason. And that guy right there is it. Nope. Those two are it. Well... I hate that the map does that when you turn the directional thing. Okay, we're here. We need to go forward. And we need to make a right in order to get to where we need to go. I think we have to follow behind. That's my assumption. Damn it. Damn it. Oh god. Restart. Please tell me I don't have to do the sewer mission again. This has got to be the place. Oh my god. Skip this. This is where I might break my controller in frustration with this game. Ah. <sighs> Can't go that way. We go this way. Why Final Fantasy? Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Yes, I know I had to sneak past the guards. God. <sighs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> I don't know, am I supposed to go up there? You might as well try it. Come on. Go, Kate Sith, go! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That was a complete waste of time. <sighs> probably. Make it in there. probably. It. Oh, dear God. <sighs> Why? Why? This has got to be the place. Oh. I take back what I said about his Scottish accent. It's really going to get on my nerves. Really going to get on my nerves. Yes, I know I go this way. Yes, I know this. Yeah, I know I got to sneak past him. <sighs> 
Why? This is just a way of prolonging the gameplay. I don't want to play as Kate Sith. If I wanted to play as Kate Sith, then this should be called, like, you know, Dirge of Catnip or some bullshit like that. <sighs> he's a freaking toy. At least I th think he's a toy. Uh, and the bad thing is you can't, like, save and keep going. It's a temp save, so it takes it back to the title and all that good stuff. I can't zoom in anything. I can't fire or do anything with those buttons. And why do we have an MP bar? We don't have magic. Ah. <sighs> All right, we made it that far. I could probably, make it in there. probably. Hmm. Where do we go? Let's see, how do they move? He'll move like that. That really doesn't give us any kind of... I think we have to go behind... Yeah. Behind that barrel. And then when that guy moves, we make a dash for the next barrel. Way over there. And then when that guy moves, we make it behind the crates and we jump over and about. Alright. Let's see if we can do this without getting hit. Hmm. Maybe I can... Explody barrels. The bane of all enemy existences. But now I'm gonna have to be extra careful with the way they're turning. The way he's turned. Okay, he's facing. He's turned his back. He turned his back. Alright, let's see. His back is turned. Now he's facing us. Come on, leave me alone. Alright. Not too shabby. It's a good thing deep ground soldiers can't shoot worth shit. Alright. Gotta make sure we jump when they're not looking. Cool. And I think at this point we don't have to go back and do all that over again kind of like saves us with checkpoints, I think. Anyone get like a uh, Star Wars kind of a prequel feel with this? Not something to draw inspiration from with this game. Definitely not. Um, hmm. Alright, there we go. 
Well, we can't go through there. Why is there a door there if we can't go through it? That's my question. Alright, gotta wait for the right time. Wait for him to come around. And then drop it like it's hot. Well, drop it like it's a bomb? Like a boss? Come on. Here we go. Got him. Ain't got shit on Kate Sith, man. Ain't got shit, yo. Aw, oh, damn. It's one of those. I remember this one. Have to basically make a mad dash for it when they're there. Let's sneak down there. All right. One, go. Now what? Ah, oh, damn it. Did I really go the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Well, we've made it this far without taking damage, and that's not bad. Please tell me we go back to Vincent. I do not want to play anymore. Oh my god, no. Yeah, I mean, Kate Sith is pretty damn cute. That's pretty dark. The hell? What? What in the blazes is growing down there? Usher of souls. My brother. Uh, he's probably one of the uh, cooler deep ground. Him and Rosso are pr what the? Oh, that's just a Moogle. What's with the Moogles? F having children? Uh, I think even Crisis Core even. But I'm getting sidetracked. It. Nero and Rosso are probably the only two, maybe to some degree, Vice that I actually enjoy for Deep Ground. Azul the Cerulean pisses me off. Um, Shulk, I can't stand her name. And yes, we're back to Vincent. Sweet. Which, I think we're in the basement, like a hidden basement area of, uh, the, um, uh, Shinra Manor. Ah, uh, yes, we do get to shop. Buy some potions, which are pretty much worthless at this point. Uh, don't need handgun bullets. We already have a sniper scope, so we really don't need that. Um, okay. Get back our potions. Let's see, we are supposed to go... Where? Oh, wow, we have a lot to explore. Um, we're going to explore this way first, and then we're going to do the center areas and so forth. And if I remember correctly, I'm going to hate this. Okay, I guess we can't go that way. It's nice to know that they have an, like a sign where the elevator is. It's just a mansion. Not like a laboratory. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm facing the door. Can't open that either. Damn. Why give us all these options if you're just going to railroad us in? I want to explore this place. It's actually one of the things I really liked about Final Fantasy VII. Where are we? Deja vu. Don't 
pick it up. Don't pick it up. Ah, you picked it up. Lucrezia. Vincent. Right? Um, what the hell? What the hell? She's Cabby, not real. Okay, thank God. Doesn't really explain what the hell this is. Don't tell me that materia is... Oh god, this is like Final Fantasy X in the Sphere Grids. Ugh. You know, they, they try to force on us that uh, 7 and 10 are connected. Soul rot of terror corrupt. And this is not a good way to do it. Quelling impurity, purging the stream. To beckon forth an ultimate fate. Behold mighty chaos. Omega's fire to the lofty heavens. I came across this passage while studying the scriptures of the ancients. The Chronicles of Yore. Omega. The End. Just as all other sentient beings. He too was born of the life stream. However, his only purpose is to cleanse the planet of all things living and lead their immortal souls through the abyss of ether to a new beginning, far, far beyond the never-ending sea of stars. Oh. The hell... Hold on. Bull. Shit. Did she just make that materia? That Vincent is now hallucinating. Am I understanding that correctly? I'm going to let her finish talking, and then I'm going to tell you why that's a bullshit moment of this game storyline right there. And when Omega has embarked on his journey to the cosmos, our planet will wither and die. I will leave a copy of my records here for you, Vincent. Though I... I cannot imagine what help they might be. If any at all. And why didn't you talk about this when you met in Seven? Just remember... You know... That might be helpful. Okay. That door was shut. Now it's or it was open. Now it's shut. Or was that too a hallucination? Probably the latter. And really, who leaves a damn disc 
thing just laying there when it clearly looks like the books have been, you know, taken and, you know, I'm sure Shinra tried to cover this up, and yet that manages to survive laying right there in the damn table. Right in the open. I know things are... Collect a mega report files, whatever. Um, bullshit moment with the uh, little materia memory sphere bullshit that's like taking off a uh, ripping off of Final Fantasy X and whatnot. Um, in seven, the ancients, ancient civilization type of creature, like humanoid type things, able to create materia, which is like their ability to use magic and their knowledge poured into it with the live stream gives us magic. Lucretia is not an agent. She shouldn't be able to create materia that has these sort of images and bullshit in it. Bullshit. I call bullshit. I can't suspend my disbelief with you anymore, Dirge. I can't. And in fact, um, we've pretty much hit the end of this episode. So next time, uh, we are going to work our way through the manor and, I guess, collect Omega reports and what else. I'm sure there's a boss. I'm pretty sure I remember one. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Great Kids Angel. See you guys here next time.